And your power bill is expected to be much higher this winter. Both Eversource and United Illuminating have filed for an unprecedented supply charge increase. Many residents say that they are extremely frustrated with the proposal and they're already struggling with higher prices because of inflation. Both utilities say that this will increase the average household bill by about $80 a month. Eversource says the main reason for the supply rate increase is the ongoing war in Ukraine, which has led to higher prices for oil and natural gas. Eversource and UI want to make clear that the standard service rate comes from the energy suppliers that they're purchasing from. And then it's passed on directly to you dollar for dollar, meaning that they're not making any profit from this increased standard service rate. Once approved, these rates would go into effect starting January 1st. We do have Team 12 coverage tonight. Josh Pedrosian looking at how to get help paying your power bill. But first, let's start with John Craven outside Eversource in Norwalk. John, utilities are facing a ton of backlash tonight. A ton of backlash, especially from politicians, Eric. My inbox has been flooded with statements blasting Eversource and UI. But the bottom line here is that there is little that politicians or even state regulators can do to stop this price hike. Shocked power customers are already talking about cutting back. Keep telling the kids, turn down the heat and just um, not if the rooms that we're not utilizing, make sure we turn off the heat in those areas. At the state capitol, lawmakers are mad, but they're powerless to stop the price hike. That's because back in 1998, Connecticut deregulated the electricity market. Eversource and UI stopped generating their own power, so now they have to buy it on the open market. Also, state regulators can no longer set supply charges. Well, something does have to give. The top Republican in the state Senate says it might be time to give regulators more power. Everything needs to be on the table because of the substantial increases in energy costs. There may be a way to figure out how to put some guardrails on this thing, and that's what I'm hoping for, where we don't find ourselves another year from now in this situation. So why is this price hike so high? Blame the war in Ukraine for a shortage of natural gas. In Connecticut, natural gas is already expensive because it has to be shipped here. The federal government could ease prices by letting foreign ships deliver it. If that was loosened, I think that we could actually see a little bit of uh, a relief uh, in energy prices just so that we had greater access to supplies. The Jones Act is very contentious, and I think there are steps we can take, whatever we do about the Jones Act, that will lower the costs of energy. Connecticut is investing in offshore wind power, but that's still several years away. State lawmakers are headed back to Hartford right after Thanksgiving for a special session. On the agenda is additional home heating assistance.